2020 was a bad year. Really fun way to wrap up this game. But I'm too stupid for justice. That was fun! I can't wait for 1.4! Wow, what a fitting end. Just overall shite. No side areas. Cut Pokemon. Boring new characters and mechanics. I'm not even gonna try to front with you here. Look, it's the trailer on YouTube. A ROM hack that fixes every problem I had with Heart Gold. Better move pools, better level curve, evolution items that aren't post game. It's great. Still has some of that uh, amazing ROM hack writing though. I genuinely believe that Wind Waker had better exploration. It also had lots of people try to tell me, oh no, the game's great, it's fun, it's good. Then why didn't I have fun? I'm not gonna go, oh, you know what? You're right. Actually, I wasn't bored. I was actually having fun. I was just pretending. It still holds up, as long as you play this objectively better version. I'd have more to say about this game if I had played it recently, but it's been a while. I recommend it, but it's a bit expensive for how long it is. Really cool, though. Play it once over the summer, and once during the winter. Beat it really fast both times. Two sessions each. Probably one of my favorite platformers to date, since, you know, I haven't played it a million times like Super Mario World. Who the fuck a Nintendo thought this was a good idea? Still, I find the other one harder. Easily one of the best game soundtracks I've ever heard. Although the levels have a lot more variety than the first game, it's also too hard for me to casually enjoy, so I still prefer the first game. Out of the Tohos I've played, this one's my personal favorite. I like the lore of this one. I also appreciate the really long death bomb window. It lets me attempt difficult patterns without immense punishment for not skipping at the start, you know? No, I'm not good. I can only 1cc on normal. Fuck off. A really short Metroidvania. Throwing knives, time stop, and grazing bullets were all pretty fun game mechanics, though, so it was pretty worth it. Can't tell you how many times I'd use to continue during the final spell card. I have a lot of nostalgia from playing Splunky Classic on my school computer back in elementary school. Granted, I never made it past the caves because I didn't really know what I was doing, but it was still fun. This game's reveal back in 2017 was hype as shit. And you know what? I wasn't let down. And although there are some lame parts of the game, it's pretty fun. Also, multiplayer's a fucking joke. A game from my childhood, but the first time I've ever completed it on original hardware. The reason I always liked this game as a kid was finding all the secret exits, so it's kinda lost on me now that I know everything. Also, a lot of the notoriously hard levels weren't really that bad this time around. The reason I wanted to make this video. I stumbled upon this game by complete accident because it was on the Xbox Game Pass. With zero expectations, I went in and really liked the game. The visuals, music, characters, and writing were all really fun. Valhalla is a visual novel type game where you work at a bar in a cyberpunk future and serve people drinks to influence the story. Think kind of like Papers, Please, but more story oriented and with more recurring characters. A lot of the exposition in the game and world building is done through very organic means, where instead of just being told it by some random character for some reason, you instead learn through news articles, 4chan threads, and client stories to build a world in such a fun way. For example, during the first week of the game, you hear about some hacker that plans on doing something big with rumors on not 4chan about what it could be. Then one day, the bank gets hacked and everyone in the bank, including a regular at the bar, gets locked in there. You never really learn who the hacker is, nor the reason for leaking that stuff, but this game isn't about that. You instead learn about how this affected the different regulars at the bar. It also has a bunch of stupid references to games and anime. If you like visual novels, cyberpunk, and alcohol, I'd suggest getting this game. Seriously, support these guys, they're from fucking Venezuela, it wouldn't hurt. The only thing is, I can't really guarantee you'll enjoy its sense of humor. And now, the list of games that I couldn't be bothered to write anything about either way! Bad. Good. Good. 
good. Really good. And fun. And... I think that's everything. Oh, wait. No! Jackal! Oh, nigga, you gay! <laughs> Sorry. Bad jokes aside, how's my first scripted video? Let me know how I did, please. Like, like, actually give me some criticism, don't just tell me. It was shit, delete your channel, disliking, unsubscribing, unfriending you on Discord.